So hello and welcome to a series that we're creating about Muchalo. Uh, I have with me Mayase, uh, the author of Muchalo, and we're so privileged to have this conversation again. Uh, we've had a conversation on the podcast, but this is different from that. And so this, we decided to do a deep dive and go into the wisdom of Muchalo. Yes. And uh, yeah, so we will... We'll talk about the proverbs and, you know, try to analyze them from a, you know, a wisdom perspective, from a philosophical perspective, to try and see what did they have to offer us. And yeah, so Maya, say welcome. Yes, I'm so excited. Thank you, Clayton. It, it's really good. I'm excited to also hear your perspective. I know you've re read the book. We've talked about the book. Um, but really delve into these proverbs from our own kind of like life experience mm. as well. Um, and also it's a, it's a good point to kind of like reflect on like what is wisdom and how are we passing it on? I also feel like, you know, we are being the, the African aunties and uncles, <laughs> really getting into the context of um, these proverbs is, is really just, for me anyway, it, it, it's also like we're the ancestors and we're kind of sharing all this wisdom, yeah. feeling a little bit wise, which is great. <laughs> um, no, that, that, that's so true, though, because uh, <clears throat> it, we're all wise. Like uh, there's this... Uh, someone wrote a book and talked about what they called the Solomon paradox. So mm -hmm. Solomon from the Bible, uh, he seemed, yeah. he seemed like a very, you know, he was known as the wisest king. Uh, mm. But one technique, like some philosopher has analyzed it and discovered that his technique was to always uh, use like a third person perspective. Mm. And so so he, he had that technique of, uh, creating a third option where there was none and that would always inspire everyone to become their wisest self in that moment. And he seemed to be the one who was wise, but actually he was just, a, <laughs> he, he just had a very good technique. So like personally, I believe everybody can find that wisdom when put in the right situation because, you know, doing life is not, for unwise beings, I would say. Yes, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's get into it. So uh, yeah. um, chapter one, the first proverb that is here is Mubala Kale Ula Fuilisha. Uh, that's the Bimba version, the English version, uh, which, as you know, it's never as precise as you know what what the, the original language <laughs> is but it, it talks about like an early beginning is half the battle or an early beginning is helpful um you, you can kind of like use those two variations for it um so i am curious uh from your perspective i know you've read the book uh, and thinking about the book and the character in the book that the story is based off. But I am curious on your understanding of it uh, mm. outside of the book. What does this proverb bring out to you? An early beginning is half the battle. Yeah, for me, it uh, like it, it reminds me of, uh, you know, a little bit about privilege, right? And mm. and I don't mean it in the, you know, the, the modern sense of like, <laughs> you know, patriarchy and what have you. Well, maybe it's related. I don't know. Could, could be fed. But what I mean by that for me, it's about the, maybe our parents would call it a blessing. Mm. Like, you know, when you when you have an opportunity, when you have a blessing, when you have some sort of uh, the privilege of good luck or the privilege of having something to lose, uh, what kind of, is it really an advantage? And, and so for me, that's where my mind went. 
Mm. And th that's what I was thinking about. And when you think about it, it's like in life, we, we have all these uh, opportunities and, you know, uh, it's never the same, the same day, right? You know, you have good days, you have bad days, but it, it's a, it's a blend. It's a blend. It's never one constant uh, absolute yeah. or the other. But going back to having that early start, is it really half the battle? I would say it is at the time when you get it. However, the problem is when you realize it, when it, because it's a journey, right? Like you, yeah. you, it, it always starts out a journey. It's like you get a privilege. Let's say, for example, we use like an education, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you get the privilege of uh, being sent to to school because, like, you know, where I come from, even going to, going going to school is yeah, a yeah, privilege because yeah. there's people who if don't go to school in the rural areas, <laughs> yeah. or if you're in the city and you're poor. Yeah, it's a privilege getting yeah. into that classroom and actually being wide awake and not tired and not hungry yeah. to concentrate <laughs> in that classroom yeah yeah so being getting that privilege and and you know like where i grew up like my parents would sacrifice a lot to make sure i go to school and they would remind me it's like hey uh just so you know because you're able to go to school uh that's a privilege so take it seriously and but I'm so little at the point, right? You know, like I'm going like, yeah, right. I get it. You know, like <laughs> hopefully then many years later, you know, if you, you go to school for a decade plus and then you, you get to a point whereby you get the, you get educated, right? Mm. Now you become wise a bit, right? More yeah. wiser than you are when you started being educated. And then all of a sudden it doesn't feel... <laughs> all that much as it was you know touted out to be it's like is so this is what i was all this sacrifice was all about was it is it such a big deal but only after you got it right <laughs> it's only yeah. when you're at a place where you can see it but also when you have it i don't know like it it doesn't feel as valuable as before you had it that's and so that's where I kind of go like, is it really? Yeah, that's <laughs> interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. I, I kind of I am with you on the journey of like it's a it's a journey, right? And you don't understand the battle until you're in it. And the privilege that you get sometimes is like whether it's your parents' dreams or it's your dream we look at dreams in hindsight, yeah. right? If, if you think about it now of like, oh, for example, I was striving to go to school. I wanted to get into a Western university and I got in. I don't realize when I realize that dream, it will be a while later that I look back and go, hey, that's the thing that I had wanted. Now I've got it. But also because you're looking at it in hindsight and in today's space where you're in right now, now there's all these other things that you want. Now there's all these other things that life has brought to you. You, you can easily just be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, onto the next thing. And for me, that's why I think I'm like, that's where maybe the privilege is even to be able to dream mm -hmm. or somebody else to dream those things for you or want those things for you. Um, pushes you along more than you know. And us being humans, <laughs> we don't appreciate it. I, I think we don't appreciate it because we, we look at life in hindsight, but also in that moment, you're looking front and you're looking forward. Yeah. So if, if you can find some displacement because you're not sitting to be like, okay, I recognize that because of X, this is why I'm at Y mm -hmm. type of um, thing. But I also think the, the other thing of like what you were saying of like, is it really like, what's, what's your play here, mm -hmm. right? Like as in, 
what is your uh if it's your dream it's your dream if it's your parents dreams <laughs> you know yeah. it, it, it's your parents dreams and you as much as you're trying to drive stuff there's stuff that we don't drive I, I believe that as well. There's they stuff that, you know, if you believe in God, God drives things, the universe drives things. Like the, there's things that are outside of you that are still representative in this whole journey, in, yeah. in this whole kind of like idea about privilege. It's beyond you maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I <clears throat> I completely agree with that. And I think that's, Partly that's where the is it really comes from because yeah. you know when you at the time when this privilege is bestowed upon you, I don't think you've developed the self that you become later to yeah. kind of like own it, right? So you're still you're still developing that self. You're still trying to understand who you who you could be you know, what kind of choices you could make. And so in retrospect, of course, it's easy. Now you have yourself. Now you have some preferences. You, 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 you've you made some choices that you, you know, you feel confident about. Then now you're, you're, you're ready to critique your privilege, right? It's kind of like, yeah, yeah if, I, if I was the one choosing, is this what I would choose? But wait, hang on. If you had no self and you had to make a choice, would you even be able to choose? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the, 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 the depth of like, you know, I feel like that is just the question of like, uh, what is being a human even, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> because ultimately every choice that we make is shrouded in so much. It's shrouded in society, how society views us, how we view society and where we want to be in society our own cultures, our own responsibilities, a lot of it nowadays, our own fears of, you know, what we care about or what we don't care about, but we just fear FOMO all over the place. (laughs) (laughs) And an interesting thing, even in that sense, is we minimize our privilege. (laughs) Because I can look at Clayton and go, well, Clayton lives in this house, in this suburb, has these things in his family, these things at work. Great. He has the privilege. Me on the other side, listen, I'm just a struggle bum all over the place. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But I minimize my levels of like where I have stepped up and the ladders that I have, the connections that I have, because I'm constantly just comparing myself to somebody else's privilege, Mm. somebody Mm. else's things that they have. And that minimizes what I'm supposed to be my own dreams. And really, to be honest, we should all stop chasing the American dream because that just minimizes everybody's (laughs) hard work. (laughs) Yeah, no, no, it's it's not good to to do to get trapped actually in the comparison and chasing. So for me, I I feel like <clears throat> it is true. You know, like with all that we've come so far, like I think it is true though. Like it does, like that privilege does give you, you know, it it gives you, you'd say, time in that battle of life mm. right like it it gives you some sort of streak that you would probably you'd have in a different way or yeah. not not in this very way that 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 you know you you've uh you've you've received and experienced and and also i think n- n- not not being able to get that you know that 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 gift or oh, i'm not calling it a gift but that privilege right mm. it would have been we don't really know yeah whether you would be in this position right you, i would <laughs> say you wouldn't you you'd be in another dimension <laughs> yeah yeah it would it would be a different reality yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so so i think like it was it was a good it was a good you know syllogism it was a good proverb kind of like to always carry forward because it helps ground you it's like, oh, 
you know, <laughs> you may think <laughs> you may think you're getting away and you could do this on your own. Actually, you can't. You can't. You do, you do need this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and I also think, like, I was thinking about, like, obviously a lot of, like, African proverbs are... Uh, I steep from the 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 fact of like we're educating you. This is how we want you to live your life. This is how you can live a wholesome life. And, and I can imagine like in the past when they're telling someone, they're also kind of like encouraging them to dream above like what they have. And because it, it's also kind of like it it helps you get a start. It's actually like start something they, yeah. there's still a whole bunch of life to go on but when you're starting something sometimes i even i'm thinking about like even things like oh self-made millionaire or self-made da 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 as much as that is true i actually think there is no one who's self-made <laughs> because somebody has poured into you so it's kind of like it's only half the battle because Whatever place you start at, whatever privilege you start at, you cannot just sit in that privilege forever and that will be, that's it. Like, no. I leave my hand. <laughs> you still need to do something to keep going and so that, you know, you, you build on it. Uh, and so if I think about it now, those are the things that run in my head. I'm like, there's no one who's self-made. Yeah. Everyone is poured into like, obviously, you're doing the grind 24 hours, you're chasing the dream, you're da-da-da. But somebody is pouring into you, whether it's love, whether it's, like, they listen to your staff or whatever. That is also energizing you yeah. to keep going. You mm -hmm. may make the millions because of your idea, your dream, where you want to go. But actually, the, without somebody else... Even critiquing you, even saying this is a bad idea, they motivated you to keep going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you, you. If you don't have that, like if you, if you're, you try to isolate yourself in this, it just dies. It fizzles. Yeah. It, it, you know, fire cannot keep, you know, burning without air. <laughs> you do need yeah. the air, right? Like with the yeah. moment you cut off the air supply, it just fizzles out, and so. That you, <clears throat> I, I think for me, this reminds me of that because, uh, yeah, we, we really can't. It's, <laughs> I, I, just, I haven't seen anyone who has. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has. Nobody has. And, and, and I think the joy of it is that everybody, the journey of life will give you maybe half a step, maybe 0 0.1 a step, maybe whatever, 0 0.01, maybe 0 0.5, maybe five steps. But yeah. either way, that little push, that little whatever it is, whether it's your own dream, whether it's your parents' dream, whether that is giving you that extra edge, it's giving you the edge to start. Yeah. And, and that's where the, you know, different areas of life will we, we'll have different privileges. But those privileges are just the beginning because you're also then privileging others yeah uh, in this chat we're privileging all, all the young people <laughs> so they can lend their ancestors uh problem. <laughs> uh no but you know I, I think um it's a good way to think about that like how are you sharing your own privilege as well yeah yeah and and d don't think that you know privilege is a bad thing like you know <laughs> the way it's been painted you can't not really be around without some sort of privilege that yeah. allows you to be there so yeah so i i think i really completely agree that an early start is only half the battle you still have to kind of like take it like thank yeah. god you got half, half of your battle sorted <laughs> but don't let it be where it ends because then then you did not honor it Right, mm. like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, great. Sweet.